Just a week ago, the Green Archers were within striking distance of UP in that chase for that second twice to beat Edge in the semifinals. Now, they are a full three games behind the Fighting Maroons after the team lost two of their last three games. After that very convincing blowout win sa UST last week, akala nga natin the Green Archers have finally figured things out and they would manage to sweep their remaining games in the elimination round. But after struggling against a winless UE team and losing to UP and FEU, it appeared that all the gains that we had hoped they had achieved in that win over UST has evaporated in that space of three games. In that stretch, the previously hot shooting smooth playing team that we saw were unable to shoot well or defend consistently. So, ano nangyari? Well, against UE, aminin natin na medyo there was a bit of complacency on the side of the team. They allowed the Warriors to play with a confidence that is not usually found sa isang team na wala pang panalo. They took control, kept us at bay with timely hits, and only folded in the closing minutes after dragging us into overtime. Only the clutch performance of Nonoy and Balti saved the Archers from the ignominy of gifting UE with their first win of the season. Imagine how demoralizing that would be kung natalo tayo sa UE. Parang mahirap mag-recover doon. And we expected in their game against UP last Saturday that the team would play with more energy, with more resolve. Actually, they did, but it only happened during the latter part of the game. But all throughout, panay catch up lang ang ginagawa nila. And just earlier against FEU, ganun din, naghahabol din sila. The team managed to play well sa third period. They didn't allow FEU to score a field goal in that quarter. But uh, in the fourth period, uh, they were not able to sustain the momentum. FEU made the timely hits down the stretch, which allowed them to escape with the win. So what do these three games have in common? So all these three games, mabagal lang simula ng Lasal. They allowed their opponents to build a big lead sa simula pa lang, and then they play catch up. Nakakapagod din maghabol. They were fortunate to still beat UE, but against talented teams like UP and FEU, mahirap yon, mahirap mag-play ng catch up against these teams. We're not sure if Coach Derek is still experimenting sa starting five niya. Kasi nakikita natin maraming combination minsan eh, sa starting lineup niya. But uh, hopefully, at this point, siguro dapat i-field na niya yung pinaka-strong na starting five niya, di ba? Para they can already build a big lead from the start. And then which would allow the second team to hold the fourth in the meantime and extend the lead if kaya. Kasi mahirap talaga eh, mahirap maghabol. Kasi what's key, right from the opening tip, they need to establish already their game and prevent that other team from doing the same. And when it comes to execution on both ends of the floor, gaya ng sabi namin sa past videos namin, the team had little time to prepare, to be honest. So, we expected sa season na to that there will be lapses, they will be inconsistent, it's difficult to make teamwork appear all of a sudden. That takes time playing together. A luxury that they haven't had because there was no preseason tournament and they had very few tune-up games prior to the start of the season. Kumbaga, their performance now is parang summer league level pa. Kasi most of these players, they only got to play together or practice together just at the beginning of the year. So parang steak, hindi pa siya well done. At this point, Coach Derek is still probably learning what he can expect from his players. Although how they do in practice can tell something about their abilities, he still needs to see them in action in real game to gauge how they will perform, how they react, what their instincts are, how well they can blend in with their teammates, and which pair combination will work best. Under normal circumstances, his rotation would have been fixed by now. But of course, hindi ito old normal. It's the new normal. He didn't have the benefit of time with the team to assess them individually and collectively or tune-up games that could have helped accelerate the familiarization process. So his timeline for getting the team to play as a cohesive unit has to take a bit longer. There is no instant formula for teamwork. It takes time. 
So are the Green Archers regressing at this point? To be honest, hindi naman siguro. Um, siguro they're still, gaya nung sabi ko, they're still trying to figure things out, still trying to build that cohesiveness. So how long should we wait until we finally see the true potential of this team? Well, sana soon because there are two games left in the elimination round. As to where they stand right now, Lasal is currently in solo third at 7-5. and five. They have a one-game lead over FU at 6-6. Six, six. Adamson is at 5-6. and six. They are battling Ateneo right now. So assuming Ateneo will win, Adamson will fall to 5-7. and seven. Lasal and Adamson will meet on Thursday. So if Lasal wins, uh, they would already book a seat in the final four. Unfortunately, Ateneo and UP has already secured the twice to beat advantage in the semis. So, assuming that uh, Ateneo sweeps the elimination round, so they'll enter the finals outright. So, mangyayari, magkakaroon ng step ladder. Lasal, who is currently at number three, would have to battle it out with the number four seeded team in a knockout match. If they win, they need to beat UP twice, and sila may twice to beat, for them to enter the final. So basically, they have to win three in a row sa semis for them to have a shot at the finals. But in case Ateneo would lose just one game in the elimination round, they would still face FEU and uh, UP in the coming days. So regular final for tayo. So mangyayari, it will be... Lasal versus UP which UP has the twice to beat advantage so syempre mas maganda na regular final 4 ba? kasi para wala na yung extra na knockout game between number 3 and number 4 but if in case na step ladder pa rin then so be it what's important at this point that Lasal already secures their slot in the semis and once they're in hopefully they would already peak at the right time 